today i am going to present how to solve multiplication sums easily with vedic mathematics hello everyone my name is sai harshad k the vedic mathematics has its origin in the vedas the word veda literally means the fountain head and illimitable storehouse of all knowledge the original source of vedic mathematics comes from the atharva veda and all the sutras the vedic mathematics is a collection of 16 beautiful formulae from the vedas which were discovered by jagadguru shankaracharya shri bharati krishna theertha ji maharaj now today i am going to teach you two methods by which you can solve multiplication sums easily and without difficulty using vedic mathematics now the first method is nikhilam navatash charamam dashatah and the second method is anurupena sutra now the first method nikhilam navatash charamam dashatah literally means all from 9 and last from 10 now in this sutra is used when both the multiplier and the multiplicand are near to the base which is in the power of 10 for example we take two numbers 94 and 95 which both are the nearest base as 100 which also comes in the power of 10 now in the first step we have to find the difference between 100 and these two numbers which is for 95 it's 5 and 94 it's 6 in the second step we have to multiply these two numbers which is equal to 5 into 6 which is equal to 30 now we keep this number aside and in the third step we are going to uh, subtract 5 from 94 and 6 from 95 Now, now 94 minus 5 is equal to 89, and 95 minus 6 is also equal to 89. Now, the fourth step is that we are going to take this number 89 and put it first in our answer, and the number 30 which we kept aside after it. and when we join these two numbers we get the answer as 8930 now if the number is above 100 with but near to it what we do is we follow the same method but instead of subtracting we just do addition now for example what if the numbers are distant from the base like two numbers 48 into 42 now these two numbers are distant from their base 100 now for this type these type of cases we use a method called anurupena sutra in this method we are allowed to divide the theoretical base to get a good working base now 48 and 42 The, they have their nearest base in the ten tables as fifty. Now, the theoretical base hundred can be divided by two to get fifty as a working base. So now we divided it by two and get we got fifty as our working base. Now, as in the Nikhilam method, we are going to do our first step is that we are. finding the difference between 50 and these two numbers which is 48 2 and 42 is 8 now the second step is that we have to uh, subtract 8 from 48 and 2 from 
which is bo in both cases the answer is 40. In the third step, we have to multiply these two differences which is 2 into 8 is equal to 16. We put a slash and write 16 below. But this is not the complete answer as we divided the theoretical base by 2 at the start. Here to it at the end we have to divide 40 by 2 to get the correct answer which is 20 and we take 16 as it is. 2016 is the answer. Now there are many different methods like these in Vedic mathematics which may, uh, makes multiplication easier and simpler. But today I have taught you two simple ways by which you can make multiplication problems simpler and easier in your everyday life and I hope it will be very helpful to you. Thank you.